Hello everyone, my name is Kids Coding, and welcome back to Python. If you need a refresher, please be sure to view the Python playlist and view the most recent Python videos to refresh yourself on the syntax. So this video is going to be about Python try except. By the way, the Python syntax isn't that um, bad. Um, if you remember, it's honestly one of the easiest to code in, and that's why a lot of people like to use it, because um, the syntax is honestly very easy to just get a hang of. So this video, like I said, is going to be about Python try and accept. So an exception is basically a Python variable or function that shows an error. When this happens, Python will stop and return an error message to the user. It is important that we as programmers handle these exceptions properly because otherwise the program will conclude abnormally, which can even crash the whole computer. So first what we're going to do is we're going to have to add a try statement. So um, we're going to... So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a try statement which will test the error if the value x is not defined since the try statement will show an error because x is not defined the the accept statement will run through the terminal allowing us to um to run the error so i'm going to go ahead and make our python file so i'm going to say try accept finally because that's what this video is about and then dot py because this is a python file so first we're going to do try the try keyword basically allows us to um test errors after that the next thing we need to do is we need to put a print statement let's say we're going to make a variable x and next what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding an accept the accept statement whoops oh, well. and then after that we just need to print the statement. Okay, so what we have here is first we have x, which is our variable, and then we have a print statement, which is accept. So the accept statement will pretty much allow us to run the error. So it will allow us to run it and pretty much make any fixes. So let's go ahead and run this code. And then we're gonna put, come into our terminal. You can click press and then press new terminal. And you go py, and then the name of your file. So try accept finally.py. So what you're gonna say here is you're gonna say the value, you're gonna see the statement that we put in our accept because the accept statement allows us to run the error. Since x is not defined, the user is gonna get this error that it, whichever is in the accept statement because the accept statement obviously allows us to run the error. You cannot have more than one ex statement, one accept statement. You can't have more than one. However, there is an exception that is using the else keyword. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add an else. Oops, my bad. There we go. And then what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to print a simple hello. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to run that again. So what you see here, since the value x isn't defined, so in this case, the try statement will give an error because the value x is not defined. So if the try statement gives an error, then the, then the accept statement will show in the terminal. However, let's change this. In this case, the try statement does not give an error because strings can easily be read by Python and strings don't give any errors. They come out clean. So if the try statement does not give an error, then the try statement and the, and the, um, what, the try statement and the else statement will show in the terminal like here. So because this, the try statement was true or not true, it didn't give an error because hello world can be defined string. All strings can be defined in Python. So, um, it's going to give us the try and it's going to give us the else statements like you see here. And there's going to be a break. There's going to be a line break in between them. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing the same thing, but I'm going to demonstrate you what happens when it doesn't give an error. I mean, when it does give an error, my bad, sorry. We're going to say X and then we're going to say hello. And what you're going to see here is you're simply going to see the accept, like what I showed previously. 
you're not going to see the else statement and you're not going to see the try statement. If the try statement gives an error because x is not defined in this scenario, then it's just going to give you the accept statement. Then finally, um, we have the finally statement, which will let you run and try accept statements regardless of whether or not they produce an error. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be changing the else and we're going to be making it finally. And I'm going to flip these two around. Okay, there we go. Let's run that. And there you go. What you see here is that you'll still be able to see your accept statement and your finally statement because the try statement, even though X is not defined, meaning it has an error, it will still run because of the finally statement. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you learned something new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe.